In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about a feature of the advanced module that's extremely popular, and it has to do with multi-screen capabilities. The multi-screen capabilities of ProPresenter make use of a Matrox dual head-to-go or a Matrox triple head-to-go, and there's a separate tutorial you should watch to get familiar with those hardware devices, but the advanced module is actually uh, a, a piece of software that unlocks additional capability within the ProPresenter application. And so to demonstrate that, I want to, to uh, just show you and simulate as best as I can with a single screen what you would actually see uh, if you actually had a, a triple head to go uh, plugged in. What the triple head to go does is it basically simulates a screen that is three times wider than it normally would be. So instead of being 1024 by 768, the screen would be 3072 by 768. Uh, so that's what happens when you plug in this hardware device is it makes your computer think it's, think it's hooked into a display that is three times wider than a normal display. So to simulate that, I'm going to actually set my screen width and height uh, to 1920 by 480. This is actually going to simulate a screen that would be three, 640, three times wider than a 640 by 480 screen. So when I look at my output, because ProPresenter 4 does dynamic scaling of text and graphics and that kind of thing, you can see what's happening there is I'm actually just looking at a really, really wide image. And this is great uh, for, for some people. If you were actually, if you wanted to, you can see as I uh, go through different video backgrounds and whatnot what this actually looks like. Um, the problem with this, however, is that when I actually start playing text and whatnot, I'm only seeing the text on the center screen. Now, I could format the text to be the full width of the screen if I wanted to, uh, but that's, that's really not going to, to help me uh, if I actually have three screens and I want to span the content over all three of those screens or uh, off, uh, across three different projectors. And so the way that we actually do that is we have this multi-screen capability. And again, once you activate the advanced module, then you'll have this option within the, the preferences of ProPresenter. And so I'm going to go ahead and enable this. And you'll see what happens is as soon as I enable it, let me actually choose a different video background here that's more consistent. You can see that it's actually putting the words on the left, center, and right screens. This is indicative of the, the, the slide settings that I have for the multi-screen that allow me to choose independently whether the words appear on the left, center, or right screens. So I can independently choose if I want the output to go to the leftmost and rightmost outputs of the triple head to go. And again, just to keep in mind, this wide, uh, this wide image that you're seeing here for my output is actually going to be taken by the triple head to go and divided into three equal pieces. So um, this is one screen, uh, one, one projector's output. This is another projector's output. And then this over here is another projector's output. So the way that we have this set up right now is the video image is actually spanning across all three of the screens. Uh, ProPresenter is actually just mapping content to the individual thirds according to the preferences that I set within this control panel. So I have the option with the video background to actually span it as it is right now, or I can choose to tile the same image on each of the three outputs. So this is essentially the way that the, the image would be, would be cut up by the triple head to go or in these three different pieces. So if I had three screens above my stage, the left and right screens would have the words with the moving background, and the center screen would just have the moving background. This can be very, very popular to have a, background, a backdrop to your, to your worship band that's just showing the visuals, but the two side screens actually showing uh, the words with the moving background. And then I have the option to turn on or off the video image uh, for any one of these, these three outputs just by clicking on the boxes that correspond to left, center, and right there. Um, now, this can be very useful because I could actually have three different looks 
to my to my outputs out of the triple head. So for example, I could have this words with video backgrounds being go, uh, going to some sort of a distribution amplifier to go to two side projected screens, and then I could have the visual background just going to uh, you know as a backdrop to my to my worship band. But then this could actually be going to the back of the auditorium as a confidence monitor. Or if you are doing iMag, this could be a feed that you're sending to your video switcher such that the video switcher could key the white words over, uh, over the, the, the live video feed if you, if you chose to do that. So we have separate settings for the slide, which would be generally the text uh, that you'd be presenting, uh, as well as the video or image background that you're actually showing. These are independently set, and we also have command key equivalents to set these. So I can hit command option one uh, or command option two, three, and you can see how that's automatically changing which of these uh, video backgrounds are active. And these settings are, are viewable within the, uh, let's see, I believe it's the actions menu, multi-screen commands. You can see what the commands are for showing the text on the screen, uh, the backgrounds on the screen, whether you want to tile. Um, so as I'm in the middle of a presentation, I can very quickly choose to tile the background across all the screens or to show the, uh, to span it across all three screens. And this is, is a, in fact adhering to the, the properties that I have set for the video background. So all of the, the spanning capabilities or the scale to fit, stretch to fill, uh, those different settings that I have specified for the properties for my background are going to be adhered to uh, with, with regards to uh, the three screen output. So if I change this to stretch to fill and make it active, then you'll notice that if I uh, choose to span it now, that I'm actually looking at the entire image and it's spanning across all three of those displays. So the the other layer that you can actually have that you can actually affect is the props layer. So just to demonstrate that, I'm actually going to create a or make a prop active. And in this case, I just have a lower right hand side logo, and uh, I have the ability to turn off or on the the props layer on any one of these outputs. So this is very, very powerful functionality that we give, uh, give you with the advanced module. And again, in conjunction with the hardware product, which would be the Matrox dual head to go or the triple head to go. I've done this demonstration for a triple head to go with three outputs. Uh, I could just as easily change this to a dual head to go. And then you would just get the option for a left and right screen output. I should also note that the DVD player output uh, for ProPresenter, we are limited uh, in what we can actually accomplish with that um, with regards to how many different outputs we can have of the DVD player. And so this option allows you to choose which of the three screens you are going to output the DVD player content to, whether it be the left, center, or right screen output. Otherwise, this is, uh, again, a great tool for uh, churches that are looking to implement multi-screen capability um, with, with a single computer, and it's a single operator. So um, I hope you enjoy it.